Hello everybody, I'm back again. So this video is about the importance of checking in. What do I mean by that? I mean, checking in with yourself, you know, see where you're at. Check in with your emotions, checking your feelings. Checking in where your, your mind's at. Checking in on your body, all those sorts of things. Why is that important in relation to revising and exams? Well, there's a couple of reasons why. You could get yourself in such a frenzy of trying to study from a place of panic and stress that when was the last time you ate? Did you just do seven or eight hours of studying back to back? Do you remember any of the notes that you've just taken? Have, when was the last time you had a drink? Actually, did you skip breakfast and lunch? All these things. And if you're doing it the other way where you slept in a wee bit and burnt the midnight oil, like it's three o'clock in the morning, you should be sleeping and your alarm set for six o'clock to go for round two or round three or being in an exam. So this is important to check in. Um, you have to check in to see where you're at because things like that can happen all the time. Because things, it can easily run away with you. Time can easily run away with you. And it happens to everybody. It happens to me. Uh, I've been in that situation myself well, tons of times throughout the years when I've been revising or getting stuck into stuff. The reason I'm talking about checking in is because the moment you check in with yourself and have that honest conversation of, right, where am I really at? What am I really feeling? Am I hungry? Is my brain really functioning at its best capacity? Am I concentrating at its best? What's my tolerance getting like? All that sort of stuff. If it's starting to get low, then that's when you need to stop. You need to pause. And it's important for you to go and refuel. And you can refuel in a few ways. You've got to refuel your body and your mind. So what are you doing to refuel? Are you eating right? As in, are you getting your three meals a day? Are you remembering to have a snack in between? And then, weirdly enough, not a lot of us have three meals a day. We all know that we're going to have three meals a day. If you ask anybody, they will say it. But actually, do you have three meals a day? I guarantee a lot of you probably don't. Because I don't. I just get breakfast all the time. And I'm pretty sure it does not do me justice. So, mental health worker, also saying he skips breakfast. How many rest do you skip breakfast? And is it doing you good? Probably not. Sleeping. Are you getting the right amount of sleep? Because really, humans should, in theory, by a certain age, be getting at least seven to ten hours sleep for optimum performance. For your brain to be able to focus, for your brain to be able to pay attention, for you to be able to process the information that you're getting that day, for you to be able to function... You really need sleep. Physical activity. Are you getting any? And I don't mean as in like, hey, I play football or anything like that, because not everybody's into physical activity in a fitness sense or a sports sense, and that's fine. But I mean like, are you going for a walk? Are you taking a dog out for a walk? Are you getting up? Are you moving about? Or are you sitting in that chair all day? Are you sitting in your, your gamer chair with your stuff in front of you, studying away? Physical activity is important. You really need to do it. Even if it's five, ten minutes outdoors, breathe, um, breathing the fresh air while going for a walk, that is important. Like you, you need to do that. We as human beings, we're a little bit like a little bit like plants that way. We need to be outside. We need fresh air as well. Um, so, are you doing all that? Um, sleeping helps with our stress levels. It helps with. Um, us being able to take a certain amount of stress, being able to process it, being able to manage it. Obviously, it keeps us awake in those times when we are needing to be awake and alert. Eating. Very cleverly, you can eat more and it'll keep you going. Um, you can drink all the right things and it'll keep you awake for longer. Um, anybody who's sleep deprived won't actually be able to focus very well. Anybody who's hungry, well... A lot of you now know the term hangry. Eat, not eating right can actually play havoc with your emotions. How are you meant to study if you're really, really hangry? If you're upset? You're not going to be able to focus. So all these things, you really need to make sure that they're in. It's like a small checklist. It is the importance of having a routine. Routines, they're mega boring. They're, uh, they're, who likes a routine? Especially when you're a teenager. Nobody likes a routine. And even as an adult, I don't like a routine. But actually, they're really important. They keep us right. They keep us on the straight and narrow. So if you get up at 7 o'clock every day to go to school and it's study leave, you should be getting up at 7 o'clock every day just for to keep yourself on the same sort of 
sort of timeline that you're normally in, the same sort of clock, the same everything that you go by. If you go to bed at 12 o'clock every night, then, you know, you, ugh, naughty, you should be going to bed a wee bit earlier. But if that's your normal bedtime, then you should be sticking to that. Um, because your body operates better with these things. Your mind operates better. So you really owe it to yourself to give you the best start you can. So you need to do these things in order to um, in order to do the best you can do for getting ready for these exams. So the importance of checking in with yourself. Are you giving yourself the best start as you can? Are you giving yourself the right amount of fuel? How are you feeling? So don't abandon yourself. You know, be there for yourself. If you had a friend that was worried, upset or struggling, but anything you would ask all the right questions, you would probably think, are you okay? What's going on? Have you done this? Have you done that? So have you done that with yourself? It's exactly the same thing. You are just as equally as important. So it's important to check in every day. And I would say make a routine of that as well. Maybe check in when you first wake up. See where you're at when you first wake up. Get yourself your breakfast. Get on with your studying. And then maybe check in at lunchtime. It doesn't have to be a big check in. Just like a really quick, where am I at right now? And it could be a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being I'm absolutely perfect, 1 being mm, not great at all. Okay? Check out my other videos. See you later.